Yeah, I'm Batman. All right, so now that you've seen a slight hint at one of my Halloween plans, least of all this suit, Hoot, it's time for another Pokemon Master Journeys vlog. This time, time the suit is somewhat related to that topic, so here we go with episode 67, Sluice for Truth. Now let's open it up. Yeah, so the episode begins with Pikachu being, being accused of a crime he did not commit, and also had to deal with Inspector Decker, who sounds the Magure from the Touch of Conan in the Japanese dub. Minus the competence. A lot of images remind me of like Sobtaj's video. I basically be casting Go as the rookie and Ash as co-chase. And more Pekos EV up. Up the team market food budget more than one. Hun. And also like having like the dish of Poke Chow in front of Pikachu. Like the cliche of the bowl of Katsudon being used in Japanese police procedurals. And another power surge during interrogation proves that the real culprit's still out there. That even Pikachu can't be into place at once with all the stuff he's done over the year. All the episode reminds me of Pikachu, which I'm very patient with the planned movie sequel and HBO events. I won't even mind the idea of the sequel being a musical with, say, Hugh Jackman as a cario. As Ash and Go try to help solve the crime, they are also called in for assistance with everything from um, untangling a dispute between Tangela, uh, stopping a rogue Dodrio, and even helping a grandma and the other party going across the street, including her Porgly and some Psyduck. Another power surge gives inspiration to set a trap, and though Chloe's reluctant, she goes to agrees to help. Not only does the culprit take the bait, Go notices an inconsistency in the police sketch. Team Rocket is all thinned out, and they don't make a very convincing Waymo. A hangry Morpico couldn't wait and stole a bun, which outs him as a culprit in pursuit. I actually really love this send up of class procedurals and trying to feed Morpeko the e electricity like it's a ball of formula. That's the stuff that I think is missing from Horizon personally. And of course, they're sent blasting off through the building. With Pikachu's name cleared, her Deku gets a charge out of the situation more than one. So, this episode was a quite solid, solid one, and one I've been wanting to talk for a while, one I very much enjoyed, and working through this volume pretty nicely, I'm Definitely making good progress on completing in the, the next one and more than one. Uh, I'll definitely be doing like the finale as one video. Oh, and I as I maintain my community tab, my work towards the he is the three hundred star special. I ideally want to have that done on on or by October 18th. Now that I finally settled the subject, you'll find out soon enough why I chose that date. And on that note, not to be, I'm gonna be taking part in both Scooptober and Bat Month, and that's because of all they do as well. That will be all for now. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.